The most common salivary gland tumour is the pleomorphic adenoma, also known as mixed tumour. These are benign, 80% of them occur in the parotid, less commonly they occur in the submandibular gland and rarely in minor salivary glands. Pleomorphic adenomas are composed of epithelial and mesenchymal elements present in varying proportions and despite having both epithelial and mesenchymal elements they are in fact monoclonal epithelial tumours with divergent differentiation. They occur more commonly in females than males with an average age of 45 years. They present a slow growing masses that are painless in the parotid or less commonly in the submandibular glands and they may recur if excision is incomplete and less than 0.2% undergo malignant change. Grossly pleomorphic adenomas are well demarcated, encapsulated and typically rounded. Their size may vary from just a few millimetres to many centimetres. And an internet search for pleomorphic adenoma of parotid will bring up some astonishing clinical images of these massive tumours. The cut surface is typically grey or white with myxoid areas and they may have protrusions into the surrounding tissue and it is because of these protrusions that if the tumour is simply enucleated it may recur. This is a pleomorphic adenoma of the parotid gland with a rather solid white cut surface and here is another pleomorphic adenoma, this time it has arisen from a minor salivary gland in the palate and again it has a solid white cut surface and is well circumscribed. Histologically the epithelial elements are present as asini tubules or sheets of cells and there may be squamous and sebaceous elements present. The stroma is typically mixoid with areas of cartilage and sometimes bone and the epithelial component may appear to melt into the stroma. This is a low power view of a pleomorphic adenoma and you can see how well demarcated it is from the adjacent normal parotid gland. In this pleomorphic adenoma the epithelial elements are composed of solid sheets of epithelial cells which gradually appear to melt into the mesenchymal element of the pleomorphic adenoma. In this area the epithelial element shows squamous differentiation with keratinization. This is the mesenchymal element of the pleomorphic adenoma showing myxoid features. And in this area the mesenchymal component shows cartilaginous differentiation.